Beneath the Philippines' lush landscapes lies a newly identified treasure, vast deposits of rare earth elements or REs. This isn't gold or oil, but the essential building blocks of modern technology, from smartphones to electric vehicles. Initial surveys suggest these mineral deposits could be worth hundreds of billions, even trillions of pesos, enough to reshape the nation's economic future. For decades, the global supply of rare earths has been dominated by a single nation, creating a precarious dependency. The Philippine discovery offers a potential alternative, promising to diversify the global supply chain and reduce geopolitical tensions. But this opportunity comes with significant risks. The journey from discovery to production is long and fraught with challenges, requiring capital, expertise and robust regulation. The government faces a critical task attract investment while safeguarding natural heritage and ensuring local communities benefit. The decisions made now will determine whether this discovery lifts millions out of poverty or deepens inequalities and scars the landscape. Rare earths are indispensable to the world's most advanced technologies. The Philippines now stands at the center of a high-stakes geopolitical game. This story is about immense opportunity and the responsibility that comes with it. What are rare earth metals and why are they so vital? How big is the Philippine find and what could it mean for the country and the world? Let's explore the implications of this monumental discovery. Rare earth elements, 17 metals including the lanthanides, scandium and yttrium, are crucial to modern life. They're not especially rare but are seldom found in concentrations high enough for easy extraction. Their value lies in their unique properties, neodymium and praseodymium power magnets in electric vehicles and wind turbines, yttrium and europium create vibrant screens, lanthanum is vital for camera lenses and refining petroleum. Processing these elements is complex and costly, making new producers rare. Global demand for rare earths is surging, driven by the digital revolution and the green energy transition. Electric vehicles and wind turbines require large amounts of rare earth magnets. This creates immense pressure on the global supply chain and a strategic vulnerability. For years, the world has depended on a single dominant producer, giving that nation enormous leverage. Any disruption, political or economic, could cripple industries worldwide. That's why new, viable deposits like those in the Philippines are of global strategic importance. The world needs alternatives to ensure the future of technology and clean energy. The Philippine discovery could be a game-changer, but what exactly has been found? Recent surveys confirm significant rare earth deposits in northern Luzon within a dormant volcanic caldera. Initial estimates suggest several million metric tons of rare earth oxides, placing the Philippines among the world's top unexploited reserves. The value? Over $800 billion, possibly exceeding $1 trillion as demand grows. This could fundamentally alter the nation's economic trajectory. Notably, the deposit is rich in heavy rare earths like dysprosium and terbium, critical for defense and high-tech industries, and in short, global supply. The site is highly attractive to international mining companies and governments seeking secure supply chains, but potential is not reality. Moving from discovery to production will take years, requiring technical expertise, investment, and infrastructure. The terrain is challenging, and the Philippines lacks domestic refining capacity. Unlocking this treasure will demand foreign partnerships and technological know-how. The road ahead is long, but the prize could be transformative. How does this fit into the global rare earths market? The rare earth market is dominated by China, which controls over 60% of mining and nearly 90% of processing. Even rare earths mined elsewhere are often sent to China for refining, giving Beijing immense control over global supply. This strategic dependency alarms the US, EU, and Japan, who rely on Chinese rare earths for high-tech and defense industries. Past export restrictions have sent shockwaves through global supply chains, as demand for rare earths is set to double by 2035, driven by electric vehicles and wind power, the search for new sources is urgent. The Philippine discovery arrives at a critical moment. A large-scale source in a country with Western ties is of enormous strategic interest. It offers a chance to diversify supply and build more resilient global technology chains. For the US and its allies, supporting Philippine development could be key to securing critical materials. The Philippines now holds a powerful card in the global geopolitical game, but can it become a true player? If the Philippines can develop its rare earth resources, it could become a major new supplier, breaking the current monopoly. This would attract investment from countries like the US, Japan, and South Korea, 
not just in mining but in processing and manufacturing. However, the Philippines faces a steep learning curve, lacking advanced refining technology and expertise. Building this capacity will require strategic partnerships and a stable investment climate. The nation's location in the South China Sea adds geopolitical complexity, drawing attention from both allies and rivals. The government must navigate these waters with care, balancing opportunity and risk. The country faces a choice, export raw ore for quick gains, or build a fully integrated mine-to-magnet industry for long-term value. The latter is challenging but offers greater economic development and technological advancement. The path chosen will shape the nation's future for decades. The stakes are high, not just for the Philippines but for the global supply chain. Can the country seize this moment? The answer will depend on how it manages the economic windfall. A developed rare earth industry could generate billions in annual exports, boost GDP and fund infrastructure. The government could establish a sovereign wealth fund to ensure long-term benefits for all Filipinos. Beyond revenues, the industry would create thousands of skilled jobs and foster a new high-tech sector. This could spur growth in other industries and raise the nation's skill level. But history warns of the resource curse, where sudden wealth leads to corruption, inequality, and economic instability. The government must ensure transparent, accountable governance to avoid this fate. Policies should promote inclusive growth, invest in education, and direct revenues to affected communities. Royalty sharing and community development funds can help distribute benefits fairly. The challenge is to turn this discovery into a genuine blessing, not a curse. The right choices now will determine the nation's future. Can the Philippines avoid the pitfalls that have trapped others? Only with vigilance and vision. Rare earth mining is notoriously damaging, causing deforestation habitat loss and pollution. The Luzon region is rich in biodiversity. Large-scale mining could threaten delicate ecosystems and endangered species. Mining generates massive waste and improper management risks contaminating soil and water. Chemical processing uses toxic substances, raising the risk of catastrophic spills and long-term pollution. Some ores contain radioactive elements, posing additional hazards. Social impacts are also profound. Local and indigenous communities may face displacement and loss of livelihoods. Jobs often go to outsiders, leaving locals with the costs but few benefits. Free, prior, and informed consent is essential to ensure communities have a real voice. The Philippines must enforce the highest environmental and social standards, with independent oversight and transparent impact assessments. Balancing economic gain with environmental protection and social justice is the nation's greatest challenge. The true cost of this discovery must be measured in more than dollars. Responsible development is the only way forward. The path from discovery to production is a tightrope walk. The government must craft transparent, robust regulations to attract investment while protecting people and the environment. Clear tax regimes, streamlined permitting, and strict environmental standards are essential. The Philippines must decide export raw ore for quick revenue or invest in domestic processing for greater long-term value. Building refining capacity requires technology, infrastructure, and skilled labor, but offers higher returns and more jobs. Public engagement and transparency are non-negotiable for success. Open dialogue with stakeholders, especially local communities, builds trust and legitimacy. Independent oversight and transparent revenue reporting can prevent corruption and ensure commitments are honored. Political will and long-term vision are crucial. Rushing for quick profits risks disaster. A patient, principled approach is wiser. The Philippines has a once-in-a-generation opportunity. With careful planning, it can turn rare earth wealth into sustainable national development. The world is watching. The discovery of world-class rare earth deposits in the Philippines is a moment of profound potential. These elements power our modern world and are key to the green energy transition. The Philippine find rich in valuable heavy rare earths could inject massive revenues and create a new high-tech sector. The world is seeking to diversify supply chains, and the Philippines is now a key player. This gives the country strategic leverage and global significance. But the opportunity is matched by immense environmental and social risks. The nation must avoid the mistakes of the past, resource curses, environmental disasters, and social conflict. The choices made now will determine whether this discovery brings sustainable prosperity or long-term regret. For the Philippines, it's a choice between short-term gain and lasting development. For the world, it's a chance to build a more secure and equitable supply chain. The question remains, can the Philippines set a new global standard for responsible resource development?